Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. All excited that it's Friday, getting everything wrapped up and getting ready to go to the city early in the morning. Early in the morning, that's the only part I'm not looking forward to. I'm not one of those raw vegans. I don't bounce out of the bed in the morning. I kind of ease into things and I'm going to have to be on a bus at 5 a.m. But as soon as I get up, get moving around a little bit, I will be okay and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to the market tomorrow, so it's gonna be all good. Anyhow, just wanted to talk today. You know, every time I, whether I'm in a group or reading something online, wherever it is, I always just feel bad. I feel frustrated when people are not succeeding on this raw vegan lifestyle. And oh, like I say, before I start even talking about this video, I keyword raw vegan a lot of times, but a lot like I always say, the, the same thing works and I'm not even really stressing the 100% raw vegan part. But just, you know, on a high-carb vegan lifestyle, so just get that out of the way. But, yeah, when I see people that aren't uh, succeeding, it just frustrates me because it's just like I want, I want people to get a little bit of what I've got and feel as good as what I do. And, you know, like I say sometimes, and I know everybody's brain is different, so you have to wrap your, your mind around the fact that people work differently. But it frustrates me even more just knowing that this has been the easiest health thing I've ever done as far as weight loss, as far as just being healthy or whatever is the easiest lifestyle I've ever lived on. So I was sitting around thinking today, earlier today here at my desk a little bit and trying to figure out like some of the reasons why people might not be successful. Uh, one of the reasons is I think people get bored with their food. One thing that I really would highly recommend on this lifestyle, if you're not a food person, if you're not a kitchen person if you've never prepared food a lot you got to get in that kitchen you've got to play you've got to get to where you understand how things combine you got to understand how to put things together in the kitchen because everything I eat a lot of recipes probably have come, probably all my recipes have come from somebody but there's tweaks on all of them that are based on my specific taste and that touch all the buttons that I need to be touched to give myself that you know, culinary pleasure, so to speak. Like garlic, I'm heavy on garlic. Like I'm, I might need to go heavier on garlic than other people. Or there's specific little taste, you know, like whatever you gotta do, but you gotta make these recipes your own. And you gotta make these recipes where you look forward to having them. If you're not like kind of excited about dinner during the middle of the day, and you're kind of like, eh, gonna eat that again. Well, then you you need to figure out what you're doing in the kitchen because when I'm gonna eat dinner, I'm usually pretty stoked about what I'm having for dinner. So learn how to make recipes your own, learn how to put food together and learn how to, you know, just do it for yourself. Um, the second one, and it kind of goes back to my disclaimer at the first, talking about how, you know, this message isn't just for raw vegans. One of the reasons I think a lot of people aren't succeeding on this lifestyle, ironically, is because they're too focused on raw vegan. It's They get watching these people that are raw as law, and they hear all the, the, the way out there extreme stuff about, you know, cooked as poison and this and this and this, and it gets in their heads especially in the beginning, and they make poor choices because you make poor choices, you choose things that are technically raw that aren't as good a choice as something that might be cooked or whatever. So what I'm saying is I'm not trying to push you away from the raw. I'll try to be as fully raw as you can. It works for me, but don't focus so much on raw, 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 you know. Focus on eating a clean, plant-based lifestyle. Um, with lots of fruits and veggies, um, doing it high carb, eliminating the oils, keeping your fat down, a clean, high carb vegan lifestyle. Like I say, work towards that more raw because I do feel better when I'm down here eating fully raw. Yes, I feel more energetic. I feel better than when I'm in the States eating some cooked food mixed in. But as another little disclaimer there, I don't eat cooked food regularly. So that probably has something to do with it. Like it's just like something I'm not used to. So I probably eat it in a different way than people that regularly eat some cooked food in the evening. But that's neither here nor there. But worry, focus on the health, less about the fully raw. And then you'll probably actually get to being fully raw if you don't freak yourself out with that. Um, number three I had written down here, yeah, I got my trusty notes with me yet, is maybe you're not, maybe you're just not a believer yet. Maybe you're doing the lifestyle, maybe you're dabbling, um... Maybe you're just trying it out because it was something that you had an open mind to, which is not a bad thing. It's good to have an open mind, but <coughs> excuse me, 
I think for this lifestyle to work, you've got to understand why. You've got to know the reasons. You've got to be a believer in it. Listen, from day one, I was a believer. From the day that I was familiar with, I think it was the China study was one of the first information. You know, I watch YouTube people, but it was the first real information. And as I started learning certain truths about uh, animal products, oils, uh, certain other things. There were just things I couldn't do anymore because I was a believer. I didn't have a choice anymore. It wasn't like, well, I know this isn't really good for me. And I did things that were still not optimal, but there were certain like principles, laws, laws to me that I was just like, once I knew them, I became a believer. So then I had a reason. So on my path, I had something kind of guiding me. It's like, I knew I'm like, okay, well, I, you know, one of the first things besides just giving up animal products was heating oils. That was one of the first principles I ever learned of is that you don't heat oils, that oils are very carcinogenic. So little things like that became my core and the, and the core, like I held to from day one, just because, like I say, because I was a believer, like if you're dabbling in it or trying it out, that's good for a certain amount of time, but you're never going to thrive and succeed on this lifestyle until you actually know why it does what it does for you and you believe in it. Um, now, for the people that um, talk about lifestyle, availability of fruit and vegetables and stuff, well, that's just stuff you've got to work out on your own. That's not, that's not something that anybody else can fig help figure out for you. And we talk about that all the time, you know, because of... Uh, um, what you do, where you, location, uh, money, uh, your lifestyle, uh, family, whatever, you might not be able to do this thing perfectly. But once again, I think if you just focus on the message of, or, or focus on the idea of being as healthy as you can be, eating a plant-based lifestyle, and not beating yourself up if you can't eat 100% raw all the time and, and definitely not making bad choices just to stay 100% raw. You'll be better in the long run. But anyhow, just a few things there. Like I say, I'm just always, these are little hacks. I mean, my videos aren't sophisticated. They're not terribly thought out. It's just, there. it's a lot of times of me just trying to problem solve in a very simple manner, seeing things that I see out there and just throwing some possible solutions out there. I'm not one of those people. I'm not arrogant enough to think that like everything I'm saying is like law. Like, yeah, this is how you should do it. I'm just throwing some possibilities out there. That's all we can really do with each other. But Anyhow, hope this one maybe helped a little bit. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel and hope you have an awesome weekend. I'm going to. Not sure what I'll post this weekend. Not sure if I'll post anything from the city this weekend. I'll definitely shoot some stuff um, and I'll post it, but uh, I might just post, uh, might do another couple of videos today or who knows what I'm going to post this weekend. We'll see. Anyhow, love you guys. Peace.